get a taste of that glamorous celebrity life. But there's a dangerous and dark side that's now making news from assaults and stabbings to shootouts on Sunset Boulevard. The Insider investigates Hollywood's growing crime rate. So what was the, what was the fight about, man? Can you say anything about the allegations against you? The arrest early this morning of music mogul Suge Knight, seen here on TMZ, on suspicion of murder for the hit and run death of actor Terry Carter yesterday, brings the City of Angels crime rate for the month of January to an all-time high. The LAPD announced violent crime had increased 14.8% last year. Today, Hollywood is among the Los Angeles neighborhoods, seeing a reported 200% increase in homicides. Our agenda for 2015 has two goals, to reduce crime and to build trust. When you first heard that your friend Cameron had been shot, what was your initial thought? I uh, was a complete shock. Mitchell Morris' friend, multi-millionaire real estate mogul Cameron Siegel, is sadly part of this alarming crime statistic. Siegel was shot two weeks ago in Hollywood while on the phone, sitting in his Rolls Royce. The mystery gunman is still at large. All I know is someone pulled up to him on a moped or a bike, described to be a black man. You know, he was shot once in the face and the other in the neck or in the chest area. The population of Hollywood will increase by 68% in the next five years. Our Hollywood insider, radio show host Tanya Hart, explains the rapid increase in crime. You've got all of these people, you've got a lot of millennials who have moved in, they have a lot of money, and anytime you have that happening and that kind of a population shift, crime will increase because it gives criminals an opportunity. 26-year-old Tyler Brem shot at least 20 rounds and even reloaded shooting at innocent bystanders and killing 40-year-old John Atterbury, a longtime recording industry executive who worked with Michael Jackson and Christina Aguilera. 23-year-old Christine Calderon was stabbed to death at the intersection of Hollywood and Highland, right in the bustling tourist center of Hollywood. Calderon was murdered by Dustin Pierre, a panhandler, after refusing to give him a dollar. After Calderon's death came an outcry for increased police patrols in the Hollywood hotspot. We have a 64 uh, workforce strong team focused entirely in our Tandem district. Is Hollywood safe? I think Hollywood has changed. I think Hollywood Boulevard, it's so horrible. But where, where Cameron's got shot is a good area where, you know, prominent well to do with people in the entertainment industry are. By the way, LA Tourism brings in over $16.5 billion a year. The LAPD has to be all over this problem. Well, we definitely hope so. All right, coming up, Hollywood's favorite Bostonians taking the...